this is the news you have finally been waiting for. I know I have been waiting for this news for a while now and I am really excited that this news is finally here, guys. Welcome beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling great. I am glad to be back with another video and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and let's get right into it. So for the first news, we have Erling Haaland. It has been reported that from multiple sources, guys. Yes, I have, I have to tell you this from multiple sources that a bid Roman Abramovich has given the green light for a bid to be made for Erling Haaland and the bid is, wait for it, wait for it, guys, 120 million pounds wait for it cash cash guys this is really exciting news in terms of like finally chelsea are making a move but we have been waiting and i am really excited this news is finally here chelsea are making moves for the striker and hopefully it turns out great guys i don't know what will happen when Haaland finally comes to chelsea i hope you'll have the same motivation the same physique the same you know um presence in the pitch and i hope that he will be giving us the goals we are dying for we need more goals we need to win the premier premier league cup we need to, to win the champions league cup if possible again yes i said it guys we as chelsea hopefully we are making the right move in terms of erling Haaland. and I, I know you guys are excited to hear this news so comment down below on how you feel about this 120 million pounds bid for Erling Haaland and it's purely in cash I have to say Chelsea have a lot of money <laughs> and in relation to Dortmund I have to mention that Daniel Manella I hope I pronounced it correctly from PSG has been said to sign a permanent deal to Dortmund and he's a striker do you do you guys see do you see what I'm seeing here I mean it's perfectly aligning in terms of they are signing a new striker so it's just necessary for them to just let's go of Haaland yes it's just time it's time I mean you guys are making it obvious by now but <laughs> let's guys this is this is the news in terms of Erling Haaland tell me what you think about it down in the comment section below then we have the next news this is in terms of Timo Werner of course a few speculation had been there online in terms of Timo is interested in leaving is open to leave Chelsea um, this summer but Chelsea have released a statement in terms of Timo and they say that they trust in quotes they trust that Timo will be staying in Chelsea for at least the next year so guys we had shut down the Timo rumors and possibly he might be open to living but I think he'll be staying it's safe to say he'll be staying he has contributed so much to the club he has had a lot of presence in the field he is of course he has made of course a few mistakes I have bantered him in the past i know <laughs> but in terms of how he is doing generally as a player i feel he is improving and we should give him another chance guys you can just like kick him out guys so timo i hope he stays and this is good news in terms of timo staying then the next news is hakim ziyech so guys the directors from ac milan rick and paolo are interested in resuming talks next month for acquiring Hakim Ziyech on loan. Guys, in my opinion, I feel like this will be a very good deal in terms of Hakim. He does not get so much play time. He does not get so much time on the pitch. But are we going, how are we benefiting from this? I guess we'll have to wait for the next few weeks to see what happens. But that's the latest on Hakim Ziyech. Then finally, I have to give you the latest on Romelu Lukaku. So apparently Chelsea are still on radar in terms of acquiring Romelu Lukaku and inter milan are not looking to sell the player unless unless guys <laughs> when i tell you money talks money makes the world go round better believe if you don't believe this by now this should be a sign believe 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 money makes the world go around guys so inter milan said they will be interesting to sell the player although they're not open to selling him they will be interesting in selling him for an amount exceeding exceeding guys guys the words they're using <laughs> so if the amount is exceeding 120 million euros then they'll be open to selling the player Whew, guys i have to say well people are just people just want hundreds 
hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> this is really great in terms of there, there, there's a bit of an opportunity for Chelsea to sign the striker. But do you think Romelu Lukaku is interested in coming back to Chelsea? What do you guys think? Please comment down below in the comment section. Tell me your, your opinion. What do you think about Lukaku? Do you think he's actually going to come to Chelsea? Or do you think he's just, you know, one of all those leagues that are supposed to propel more news in the side of Chelsea and inside of other teams? But that's the latest on Lukaku. As I go on, I had told you in my previous video, if you haven't watched it, please make sure you do. Um, I had I talked about preseason. I gave the whole summary on the dates, the next upcoming dates, up to when we'll be playing Tottenham. So guys, that video is, I feel like you should really check it out. Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> Chelsea had to cancel their trip in Ireland and they had to make their way back to London because it has been suspected that one of the players might have tested positive for COVID-19 and guys, it's just better safe than sorry. That's what my mom always says, better safe than sorry. <laughs> Hi mom. <laughs> Finally, I have the latest from the women's club guys. I have to give you some gist guys. We are adding another James to the family. We are adding Lauren James. She has signed up four-year permanent deal to Chelsea Women's Football Club and this is great news I mean she wanted to move closer to home to family and the deal went through for her so everyone's happy Chelsea's happy Riz James is happy the whole James family is happy I am happy <laughs> um, I feel like she'll make a really great mark in the women's club she's a really great striker and guys I'm really excited for this news that's the latest on Chelsea news I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up Share it with your family and friends if you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will be seeing you in my next video. I had a dream You were with another man In his arms you look so grand